Sundar, you know, there is this huge debate over advancing age and years and so many, so many years has, have been spent by Sachin Tendulkar on the pitch. But one thing that a lot of people forget is that he spent so many years because he's had a head start. He started rather young. So perhaps compared to other cricketers who have spent more than 15 years on the, on, on the crease, he has started much younger. Therefore, he's younger on the pitch compared to others, perhaps, who also have had 15, 20 years of experience. Well, well, yes, uh, Kash, in a sense, you could say that. But let's not forget that, you know, when it comes to, to discipline and, 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 and his entire ways approach the game, Sutton still is a hallmark for, for generations to come. When we track him on the field during tours, you'll see he was the first to actually go onto the net. He'll be the last to get out of the net. He, 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 he's not, just not satisfied with, with taking on, say, 40 or deliveries from the fast bowler. He'll go down to the side net. He will take throw downs repeatedly, fine tune his game, work on his game. So okay. the hunger to do well. It's just as it was there, maybe when it was when he when he started off in Pakistan mm. in the winter of 1989, mm. or now in 2012. So there's nothing that has dampened mm. that over the years. Yes, he spent 23 years. It's taken a toil on his body. He now knows how to manage his body better. He keeps saying that time and again in interviews to us as well. Yes, that he's now learned how to manage his fitness. Uh, he, he knows how to work. Uh, you know, share his workload, which is why we see him pick and choose the odd yes. one-day tournament every now and then. But for him, even now, he feels his body, his mind. And his game is there for him to contribute to the Indian team's success, and that's what he's looking to do. So yes, Sundar. even while a few Pakistani cricketers do spark these odd debates in <laughs> retirement, Sachin seems form in his mind that his retirement is still a long way away. Absolutely, we don't have to listen to any other cricketers, especially uh, cricketers from Pakistan dispensing good advice to Sachin Tendulkar. But what I also want to know, and Nikhil said said, said, said this, and this is a very important thing, uh, that that Tendulkar would hang up his boots the first day he thinks that he has become a liability. What, what are you picking up from Team India? Does, does Team India actually want to speak on this topic? I understand it's a very sensitive issue. Do they talk about Sachin Tendulkar? Do they talk about his future? Do they talk about the role that he's playing in Team India? Uh, honestly, uh, Nicholas, it's bang on there. If, if Sachin feels that he's not in a position to contribute to the team, he's the first man to, to go out and say, listen, I need to make way out. But understanding from the team, yes, no one wants to come on record and talk about this. But we've seen Skipper Dhoni time and again in press conference when the, when the uncomfortable question he put to me, he said, he keeps saying that Sachin is a key factor in the team. He's a mentor for youngsters. And remember, Indian cricket is a, side, is a, is a stage of transition. We saw what happened to Australia post the Ashes win in 2008. We saw Langer, Hayden, Gilchrist, Megra, Vaughan mm. all go within the space of six months. And we saw the slump that hit Australian cricket. They're now trying to pick yes. themselves up five years later. We've had Lakshman, Dravid and Saurav and Kumle go away from the team the last three years. Okay. We need someone like Sachin to stay there, mentor people like Virat. We've seen how Virat has succeeded. He says that, you know, much of the credit for, for his success is because of the discipline that Sachin has instilled in the team and what he's learned from watching the mentor from such close quarters. So, okay. Yes. He, the, the team for one surely wants to see his master with them as long as he thinks he can. Nikhil, just to take this debate forward, just take us through exactly where is Team India standing because you are rather concerned over the fact that the veterans are now stepping out and it's pretty much the juniors. Of course, you have MSD, but does the absence of Sachin Tendulkar dent the performance of the team? Uh, and exactly when could it be that Sachin could actually express his clearer idea of what he wants to do? Because he hasn't done that. Should Sachin actually come out and say that this is what I want to do or we'll just have to wait for his willow to do the talking? I think everybody is just waiting for his villa to do the talking. He doesn't need to come out and um, tell the world what his plans are for the future. And personally, I feel that Tendulkar, we need him still in the test matches because you've got a young uh, number three, you've got Tendulkar at four, you've got uh, number five in Virat Kohli who's been outstanding in uh, the recent form. Number six, you're still a little vulnerable with Suresh Rana. He still hasn't been able to find his uh, footing in Test match cricket. We don't know how fit, uh, you know, after the T20 World Cup, Yuvraj Singh takes his place or whatever happens at number six, number seven, you've got Mandir Singh Dhoni. So I still feel that Tendulkar is the glue that binds that middle order together. And I personally feel post the Australia tour, that's when we'll get a clearer picture of what Tendulkar wants to do and he'll get past those 200 uh, magical Test match numbers. You know, he's closing on it and I think post that uh, Australia series, I think Akash will all get the uh, answer that we're all, probably the world is looking for.